Welcome to our lecture online. It has been so difficult to come up with a reasonable theory of how life may have started on Earth that some scientists and astronomers have come to suggest that maybe life didn't start on Earth but started somewhere else and came here on a rock through space. Well, that is a possibility, however remote, but let's think about that. What would it have been like for life to have come from some other planet? and most likely not from a planet in our own solar system because at this point you can see that none of the other planets or moons are hospitable to life and we have found no evidence that life ever existed in our solar system other than on Earth that it must have come from somewhere else a planet in another solar system light years away from here now what would have had to happen what would have life have had to do in order to get here from somewhere else so let's assume that somehow life was existent on another planet. Well, first of all, that life would have had to survive a catastrophic event to set it free from the gravitational pull of that planet. Something big must have had to hit the planet and some rock must have gained enough kinetic energy to actually escape away from the gravitational force of that planet. So some enormous collision must have happened so that a space rock containing that life would have Le would have been able to get away from the gravitational attraction of the planet and it would have had to survive that impact and on an impact like this a tremendous amount of energy is impacted on the planet and very high temperatures are produced that typically melt the material that surround the impact site and so from that region something must have survived that impact and got thrown into space at a high enough speed to escape away from the gravitational force then that life would be on top of that space rock or within that space rock somehow and it would have had to survive millions of years exposed to space now you may say well it might have been inside a rock so it wasn't really exposed to space but it would have been in interstellar space where the temperature is almost at absolute zero so somehow that life must have existed and survived for potentially many millions tens of millions hundreds of millions of years in space before somehow life ended up getting that rock ended up getting close enough to the earth bypassing all the other planets and moons and asteroids and comets and coming to collision with the earth then life would have had to survive that fiery entry into earth's atmosphere earth has a fairly thick atmosphere and any object that comes through the atmosphere will reach temperatures of thousands of degrees as the friction of the atmosphere and the object heat up the object so flames and fire would have shot all over the place as it came into the atmosphere just like any spacecraft entering the earth's atmosphere it goes through that enormous temperature increase of thousands of degrees all spacecraft have to have those special heat shields to prevent it from burning up in the atmosphere so it would have had to survive that enormous entry into the atmosphere creating those enormous temperatures and then life would have had to survive an impact in the earth so typically when those objects hit the Earth's surface, they come in at very high speeds, crashing into the Earth, and of course cause enormous amount of energy to be released, and that impact site will reach very high temperatures, and debris would have been thrown all over the place. So again, life would have had to survive that impact. So then, once it's here on the surface of the Earth, then somehow life would have had to be able to restart its biological processes and begin to begin life as it did before and reproduce itself taking energy taking food grow do whatever it needs to do and re replicate itself after all these events and then of course it doesn't it doesn't solve the initial problem because if we have such a hard time explaining how life started on earth we'd have the exact same problem how life may have started on some other planet. The very same problem is that gap between non-living material and living material that had to be overcome. So by saying that life may have come from some other place, again, does not do away with the original problem that we cannot explain how life started from non-living material to living material. We can again say we're here, there's a reason why we're here, let's go try to find the way it might have happened. And so that's what we need to do. You say, we're here, no question about it. But then, of course, once we understand how it might have happened on the Earth, we'll, of course, explain what the probability and likelihood is that it might happen somewhere else. There used to be a time when we thought, hey, if the conditions are good, life will begin on any planet in the, in the universe. 
So let's see if that's indeed true. Let's try to get to the bottom of how life may have started on the earth. And that is how we need to do it. So you think that's what happened? That we came here on a space rock? We're visitors from outer space? Uh -huh. <laughs> do you think? I think that's you where you came from. <laughs> uh, me and the octopus, right? <laughs> You'll take the octopus over me. <laughs> I'm not so bad, am I? <laughs> How long do you want this video to be? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we better go to the next video.